protect the luminal, buddy. Uh, hopefully those couple of seconds wasted aren't gonna bite me too bad. <gasps> Holy shit! I'm so sorry, that must have been really loud. Holy shit! <laughs> this doesn't bode well. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scale Tree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. We've got a couple of things to do in camp today. Last time, we finished up the doppelganger's den, and we did a night expedition. Oh, Ochi. That little flop was super duper cute. <laughs> I'm starting by schnauts today because I didn't want to forget the fact that we completed his side quest. And I think if we go to the map... Yeah, it's exactly what I thought. They don't show the little check boxes or the little dot dot dots that imply that somebody wants to talk to you. So, <laughs> hopefully you can't blame me for missing this way back in the day, but we're gonna rectify that now. So, schnauts! I would like some raw material, please. No. No. Ah, you've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. 50 material. Oh man. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. I tell you, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. 200. I figured that made sense. Okay, excellent. We're gonna continue to talk to as many people as possible. I noticed in the corner up here, we've got Dash, who we haven't spoken to in quite some time. Hey there, Spelunkin' King! What's good? Marmori! Marmori! You seem to be traveling through those caves at a good clip. Drop your latest report on me. <laughs> yeah! I need to tell you all about the uh, water wraith, my dude. <laughs> Trust me, you should be thankful that you didn't wake up in that cave. Let's go. I want to help you discover the spirit of caves. You should continue your endeavor to explore even more of them. All caves. 15 out of who knows how many. I know that we have Bernard. I kind of want to do him second to last because I want to save the new guy for last. Kingsley! We've bloomed a whole bunch of Pikmin flowers in the dead of night. <laughs> we gotta keep blooming. You know it, dude. I would never, ever, ever want to stop blooming. You know, this actually... Reminds me, I haven't played Pikmin Bloom. One of my good friends does. I almost decided to make it a question of the day. No, the question of the day, given the time of year that I'm recording this, I think has to be obvious. I'm hoping to get out this episode a little bit before Halloween, if not on Halloween, and uh, just put it in past tense if it comes out later due to life stuff. Do you got any fun plans for this Halloween? Oh, Gesundheit, Ochi. My plan was to watch some fun, spooky movies alone. I'm probably not going to get any trick-or-treaters because I currently live in an apartment complex, and there aren't a lot of kids in this one, so... I think I'm going to just have a nice, quiet, spooky little evening at home. Anyway, what's up, Bernard? <laughs> You're making some real good progress curing folks. You know what that means? Reward time! Yeah, baby! 30 more material! I like your pace! Keep it up! 12 leaflings. Okay. So, assuming that Hero's Hideaway is just like the previous areas, there are going to be three more caves there. I know for a fact one of the leaflings is going to be Olimar. Right? Like, that's the whole point of us going back there. So... Hmm. 
You see, the, the reason I'm lingering on this is because last time we rescued a leafling in a cave, which I found extremely strange and kind of cool. So I'm just wondering how many other caves are going to be like that, if that's going to be kind of the norm from now on. Anyway. Hi, Santi. Huh? <clears throat> huh? You have got to be kidding. Him again. I can't believe he's here. Will he ever stop getting in my way? Him who? Him! Your pilot, Bernard! Uh, I'm Santi. Right now I'm a freelance pilot, but he and I have a long history, you see. Oh. Tell me more. You know, the day I was born, he was in the same hospital in the bed right next to mine. Sound asleep. I haven't been able to get away from him since then. No matter where I go, he somehow always ends up there. <laughs> I see. You know, I had a feeling it was Bernard because your tag said pilot and you're from the same home planet. So, <laughs> you know, just knowing how good and positive Bernard's vibes are, he probably thinks they're like besties or something. Meanwhile, Santi is like, get away from me. <laughs> Okay, I think that was everybody? Okay, it was. So, we've got a crap load of raw materials. I also can't help but notice that we have a buffer now of glow sap. It, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the absolutely adorable thing going on in the corner right there. Maybe I should be riding Ochi. <laughs> it's a little less distracting that way. We've got a lot of raw material. So I think now is an ideal time to offload some of that in the lab. So I can't help but notice that we have enough for these gunk busters. And it's tempting to buy that out now while it's available. But it's been such a long time where I haven't had Ochi fully elementally resisted. So I think I'm going to prioritize... Getting him both, since I have enough for the anti-electrifier and the thermal defense. 87 left. Eventually, I'm going to get the triple threat. But one of the comments suggested that you could use Pick Pick Carrots to distract Moss in Hero's Hideaway. I currently have six in my pack. You can see it underneath the little preview vi video. And I think I'm going to get just a couple more. There are only two materials each to make, so I'm going to get ten. And I'm going to see how well they work. Because if a Pick Pick Carrot can keep her distracted for a while, maybe I won't have to knock her out and waste a bunch of time chasing her when she inevitably whistles a bunch of my pick. All that said, I am so done dilly-dallying. I've been recording for nine minutes. I think it's high time we get back to Hero's Hideaway. Let's go, Colin. Sorry, once again, I'm going to have to break your heart and not rescue Olimar right away. But, you know, it's okay. This is the start of a new recording session. I'm hoping to get three to five episodes recorded this morning. And I have a vague idea of how I want to approach Hero's Hideaway today. So, most of the bottom is done. I think I want my first major task to be to take out the Armored Cannon Beetle. Then, I want to head up the little ramp that I made towards the kitchen area. And see if I can get some Pikmin on the wires that lead them to collect the treasures that are on the second stair. So that's my current plan. That said, for the battle, it might be risky, but I want to take my purples. And I want to take a buttload of reds. Huh. What did Olimar think of this place? I'm pretty sure you could consult the guide, <laughs> Colin. And that would give you a good answer. Here's hoping this isn't a bad idea. 
The reason I want to tackle this early is because if I end up failing miserably, I can just restart the day. Hi, big guy. Hey? Are you gonna... Okay. So it does shoot that out. Start absorbing. Ah, yes! Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, and that was a good amount of... Oh. <laughs> that was a good amount of damage for a first attempt. Come on, big guy. All right. Look, its weak spot is on full display. Man, in the time I took to say that sentence, I just nuked this thing. Oh! What a cute little prize. I love the fact that it only takes three Pikmin to carry. That makes a lot of sense for a bouncy ball that size. 30 Pikmin? I think a couple of purples will deal with that very well. Okay. Well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you kidding? Moss, where are you? Oh, God. Moss. Moss. Oh, great. I guess I'm going with violence today. Sorry, fellas. Oh, God. This is going terribly wrong. What am I... Well, <laughs> at least I had reds and purples. So much for being peaceful today. Good grief. Man, that's kind of a bummer. I really wanted to attempt to be a pacifist, but... <sighs> I mean, you know Pikmin games. They are some of the most <laughs> needlessly cruel things ever, I swear. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some yellows and ice Pikmin while I wait for this cannon beetle. Despite the violence, I'm feeling pretty good about the start of my day here. Let's just go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Come on, let's bring everything back. For once, that spicy spray was intentional, baby! We've got so much to do. We've got so little time. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Look at the speed of that waddle. And let's jump up here. Oh, wait, what? Is this the bunker from the voyage log? It seems to be locked. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what just happened? Um... It... So, I need to check the voyage log. How do I do that? Tablet menu? Voyage log, okay. That's unusual. Normally it will just pop up. Oh, wait. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I had no idea that there were so many little voyage logs here. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna want to catch up with these. Are you kidding? Well, <laughs> maybe I'll make an adventure of that once I've rescued Olimar, because I genuinely want to get a bunch of stuff done today. I don't want to grind the episode to a screeching halt. But... Without further ado, let's go ahead and read this. <clears throat> bunker discovered. I found a bunker inside the building. Thankfully, the entrance has a lock, so unwanted creatures won't be able to get in. I can rest easy now, knowing that I have a safe place to go if I get stranded here on this planet. Okay. So, what we need to do is figure out the code for this bunker. I'm guessing this is the final place where we are going to encounter Olimar. So I am going to save this as the literal last possible thing that we do. Unless otherwise it's specified by, by the comments. Okay, I saw that up there. 
Is this floating platform gonna? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. It takes me up even higher than that. <gasps> I see. Okay. So that brings me up to the kitchen counter. You know what? Sure. Sure. I kind of wanted to approach this area <laughs> counterclockwise anyway. So, you know, this works out in our favor. We've got some new enemies over here. I'm guessing these are some type of blowhog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that takes no time. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and once again, my aim sucks. Excellent. Let's go ahead and dig, everybody. Including dog. Go, go, go. <gasps> Oh, would you look at that? Ice enemies on the surface. Have we seen that before? I don't think so. Huh. Interesting. I know I should probably have rock Pikmin out right now instead of purples, but I've been told that you can basically use any Pikmin types you want forever. Uh-oh. Wait. What in the world is happening? Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Let's calm down, everyone. So if we go up here... And charge... Ah! Uh. Oh, thank you! The belly seems like a good target. I appreciate you, Colin. I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything. But I feel like uh, uh oh, the Pikmin are having trouble. <gasps> ah. Oh my god, guys, I'm being so distracted. There's a lot happening. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn to do everything. I guess that's a fan I can activate later. Those guys can come up here by pushing this down. Paper bag lowered. We love to see it. We also love to see a way over there. You know what? Screw organization. I <laughs> am here to have fun and play a game and be just a little chaotic about it. Who cares? Ah! Oh. Well, okay. Maybe that wasn't the most ideal starting point. Well, um... <laughs> I just sent a bunch of my friends into the void. That's, that's a very good feeling, I guess. Duly noted that I really ought to have all of my Pikmin on me when I go up there. Oh! I forgot. I set down Y, I think. It's this, right? I wanted to add a disband all, but I'm not totally sure how to do that yet. I'm not using Joy-Cons. I'm using a controller that I've plugged into the Nintendo Switch dock. I don't want to accidentally do that too much. If it becomes a problem, I'll just remove it, but I thought it would be kind of a fun place to start. Ah, yellow Pikmin. These creatures depicted over here. Don't they kind of look like Ochi? They do. That's because those are Earth Doggos. And they're also doing a great job at being a dog. I'm gonna let the yellow Pikmin take care of that for a bit while we check out this cave. Ooh. Plunder Palace. Everywhere I look in this cave reminds me of home. Playing together with the children sitting around the table, sharing a meal as a family, as the dog pilfers my side dish. Just that humdrum routine, irreplaceable everyday life. <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. This reminds me a little bit of Glutton's Kitchen from Pikmin 2. Let me go ahead and take a look. <gasps> Bread bugs! 
Okay, sorry. That mu that must have been really loud. I love bread bugs. Who doesn't love bread bugs? If you don't like bread bugs in my comment section, I mean, okay, you can stay, but you're on thin ice. <laughs> Uh, I hope you know I'm joking. You're allowed to have your own opinions. It's just I think bread bugs are obscenely cute. Oh! Well, isn't that just lovely? Oh my god. Oh, that's a ton of little fleas. I think I'm gonna send Ochi after those. Because I do not want to worry about getting all of my Pikmin <laughs> plucked out. Once he comes back to me, I'll send him to collect my Pikmin before Moss can get them. It doesn't look like Olimar made this base, so who did? Well, I guess we're gonna find that out later. Once we've taken care of this frosty Dweevil. Oh my god. Yes, we love to see the power of purple Pikmin. I should also... Wait a minute. I'm so silly. I should set this as my base. I swear I'm focused. It's early in the morning. I just got caffeinated. I... <laughs> I'm doing my best, people. Let's go and get this situated. Ochi? I want you... To gather Pikmin, please. Please, 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 before Moss wakes up. And let's move this base so that we can avoid her even better. Good! There are no stray Pikmin about. <gasps> oh! Oh, I see. I know what happens. It's because all of the Pikmin at base... <laughs> ...came with the base. I almost forgot about that feature. Check that. I did forget about that feature. I've got seven more Pikmin. Oh, okay. Those little guys. They While they finish that, I'm gonna send Ochi to deal with these things again. I'd rather not have my purple Pikmin get plucked away from me. And... In fact, let's go ahead and put them away. Get some more ice yellows and rocks just for now. As Ochi deals with those. Uh-oh. Actually, you know what? I don't like the look of that at all. What is happening here? It's good to see that friendly fire is a thing. Uh-oh. That pup has woken up. Well, at least we can better take this out with some rocks. Well, in true fashion... Mashing A recklessly like a complete nincompoop seemed to fix everything. I'm sure you guys all come here for my highly strategic gameplay, and for that, I must thank you. <laughs> okay. That's looking good. That's feeling good. Now, what is this over here? <gasps> ah... Okay, it looks like this is already dug up. Is Ochi not coming with me? <gasps> I see. Okay. This leads... Oh, never mind. Alright, it's not the one that leads down to where I wanted to go over here. I can't believe I got so sidetracked. Actually, scratch that. I do believe it. I'm just <laughs> mildly annoyed at myself. I'm still having a great time. Don't even worry about it. Okay. So that would get us over here. And I think that button turns on the fan. So... Woo! Oh my gosh. Uh, I couldn't get a good view of Kip Kip. Anyone else starting to feel hungry? I mean, I'm sure it's ba basically dinner time where you guys are. All right, so we turned on the fan. What am- wait, wait. You know, I should be using the homesick signal, actually. I probably should have done that first. Here we go. Homesick signal. Where are the missing Pikmin? 
Well, I guess they're not missing. They're just idle. Guys, I'm so silly. <laughs> Hopefully as I wake up, things will get a little bit smoother. This was a chaotic day, but now that we're at the feasting center base, we should have a lot of fun kitchen stuff to start exploring. My temptation to jump into that cave is supremely high. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do in the next episode. Right now, I think I have sufficient time that I'm going to want to do a night mission. Also, real quick. I didn't take a second to appreciate it like usual. I apologize, all of my gorgeous graphics enthusiasts. But the sunset's beautiful in the kitchen, too. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if the end-of-day dialogues that are upcoming will be just as unhinged <laughs> as last episodes. What the hell was going on? There was... The, the people at camp were on some major <laughs> crazy pills or something. M maybe Yanni spiked the food. I don't know. <laughs> they were by far some of the funniest end of day dialogues I've gotten so far. Or end of night as well. Anyway, today we got the Divine Balloon, the Unbreakable Promise. Oh. You know, this just makes me, that makes me sad for the people who are no longer in that house. Oh man. The Buddy Display, that's a cute name. Fist Force Combo Bot. Sure Footed Combo Bot. Very good. 2% more. We know that all the big percentage points are in the cave, so it's all good. <gasps> oh! Alright. Let's check up on our buddy Dingo. Dingo! How are you feeling? Back to your old self? Oh! <laughs> yeah, it fit as a feather over here. <clears throat> Why did I say that? So stupid. Glad to hear it. Then you must be ready to assist Kip Kip. Uh, I don't know. I'm not quite a hundred percent yet. Help out the rookie. Ugh. <laughs> Buddy. I like to think that he's busy guarding the camp and stuff. He likes the more slow-paced side to his ranger duties. I joked that he was lazy last time, as that was my kind of gut reaction, but I don't know. He's clearly useful for something. <laughs> we keep him around for a reason. Okay. Well, since we're going to do a night expedition for the remainder of the episode, as always, I need to take a moment to <laughs> flirt unnecessarily with Yanni. Before I do so, though, I have a question for the comments section. You see that blue block that's covering up Colin, Jin, and Petunia right now and a bit of Ochi? The one that tells me the controls? Is there any way to get that to stop while I'm at camp? I'm not gonna lie, it kind of bugs me. The leaflings are just... wow. The more I examine them, the more fascinating they become. Oh, that's super duper interesting, Yanni. That's that's very interesting. But, you know, before I go today, I, I gotta ask you a question. Hey, Doc. Wanna give me a full body exam? <laughs> I think that was my worst one yet. You know what? I'm running away. <laughs> I'm running away because I need to do my little housekeeping. Oh no. You know, actually, while I recover from my horrible attempt at flirting with Yanni, hey, Dingo, what's your deal, man? What are you up to? Why are you so hesitant to help me? <laughs> oh, that look on your face says you think you understand the basics better than I do. If you get overconfident and start letting your guard down now, you'll find yourself in a world of hurt before you know it. Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, newbie. Go do your thing. Hmm. Okay. Alright. 
trying to keep us from being a little too overconfident, I see. Hmm. You know, I get the sense that he might have some... Some self-esteem issues, maybe? I'm saying that with a lot of love, by the way. I really like Dingo. He's fun. He's cool. Even if he <laughs> tragically isn't a fan of Kip Kip. Maybe it's because she keeps flirting with his friend Yanni. I don't know. Hey, Yanni, I've recovered. Let's go out, but not in the way I'm sure Kip Kip would want you guys to. <laughs> Let's explore. We've got one more in Serene Shores. Oh boy. The Sand Keep. I sense this area is abuzz with danger. Be careful that they don't get you out there. Mmm, I can't promise that they won't. This is a third tier. I'm praying we're not going to get a third luminal slapped onto us. At least not now, but... I mean... The nice thing about the sand castle, at least, is that I don't think there's a ton of angles that enemies can approach from. Assuming the luminol is by the base, which I'm not sure if it is. Or luminols. I don't know. There could be two. It has to be a danger level three for a reason. Maybe it's just tougher critters. Only one way to find out. Oh, look at how pretty it is here. <gasps> oh. Holy crap. I do only have... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Why did the glow... <laughs> Sorry for what I imagine was an abrupt cut there. I laughed so hard I started coughing. We have a crap ton of blue Pikmin. A single luminal. Ochi tried to run off with them immediately. Protect the luminal, buddy. Uh, hopefully those couple of seconds wasted aren't gonna bite me too bad. <gasps> Holy shit! I'm so sorry, that must have been really loud. Holy shit. <laughs> this doesn't bode well. That's a ton of creatures. All right. So here's my strategy just from looking at it. I'm going to attempt to take out the creatures in this bottom corner so that I don't have to worry about them anymore. And from there, I'm going to slowly work my way out to try to get the other glow pellets and stop the other creatures as they begin to scale the sides of the sandcastle. So that's my plan. Oh man, okay. And the creatures here aren't exactly, uh, you know, <laughs> very polite. I think you have enough glow Pikmin. Oh. God. Um. Glow Mob. Lion, wait with them with your minds. I really need to use items more. I know, buddy. Ugh. It's okay. Ochi is holding down the fort for any that are gonna scale the side. We've got something up here. Or some things. Protect the luminol, new blood. No, no shoot! <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hope I'm not being, like, excessive here with my cursing. It's been a minute since I think I've cursed in a video quite this intensely, but... Come, come on, y'all. We need as many of you guys here as possible. You better not lose, Ochi! Oh boy. What is happening? Ochi's been hurt! Oh, he's, he's doing fine. Ochi, I think you are going to be A-OK. -okay. All right. Thankfully, it's very easy to stun a toady bloister in place. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Just chase down you guys. 
Oh, I see you. Don't think I didn't, Mr. Giant Heckin' Bulborb. Die! <sighs> oh. Morning can never come soon enough. Oh my god. This... This this thing that I added to my controls is really messing with me. It, uh, g goodbye. I'm sick of it. They're attacking a trick knoll of coast. Of course they are. I'm panicking. I'm mashing <laughs> my X button like a fool. How are we on either side? This is like water dumple assault, the level. I realize. Don't take your eyes off the luminal. I don't think I can promise that. A trick knoll is being attacked. Yeah, let's... I think keeping that alive... Oh my god. It's gonna be extra important tonight. Oh my lord! I guess I guess that doesn't matter now, but uh. Um. Okay, glow mob. Could you maybe get off cooldown faster? Thank you. And yeah. Figured that holding it would mean that I could get the creatures just. <gasps> A little quicker? I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. I wasn't either. Oh my god. Wow! Boom. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Well, color me pleasantly surprised. I didn't think that would go nearly as well as it did. <laughs> Yanni said something about taking a look at the color on that. Glow Sap is extremely pretty in its own weird radioactive ghost way. I've been recording for a little too long. I think I got carried away in this episode. That's okay. I'm allowed to have longer episodes now and again. I just prefer to keep them under 40 minutes because they're easier to edit that way. <sighs> Once we go through our little end of day sequence, I'm gonna end the episode. We've got another cure lined up, ready for a leafling. Almost a hundred glow seeds. Why does nighttime on this planet have to be so creepy? What's this? Comms guy, you afraid of the dark? No, I'm totally fine with the dark and nighttime on other planets, it's just, there's something about this place. It feels like something might jump out and get you at any moment. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of ghosts. You know there's no such thing, right? Well, actually, science has yet to disprove the existence of ghosts. Uh, what? Yawn, you're into all this ghost hooey? Really? No, I wouldn't say that. But there is something that's been on my mind. You ever noticed how the corpses left by the creatures during the day are nowhere to be found during night expeditions? <laughs> I did not notice that, Yanni. Not even a little. I think it makes sense from a game design perspective to get rid of them uh, so that they don't clutter up the screen while you're already going through the chaoticness of a night expedition, so... Uh, hold up. Uh... Can we please stop talking about this? <laughs> Leave it to Yanni to scare these two out of their wits. Ah, I love it. I also love seeing some Dingo and Yanni interaction too. I know based on their articles in the Japanese website, I think, that they actually grew up together. That they've been best friends since they were kids. And I just think that's super duper cute, you know? Anyway, I think this is as good a spot as any to end the episode. Next time, we are going to dive back into Hero's Hideaway. 
probably take care of the <laughs> bread bug den, whatever that cave was called. And depending on how long it is, I guess spend the next episode, two, three, taking care of that. Until then, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.